Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our live show. I'm Sisi. So we are now in the uh, hot top overseas market center in Guangzhou. Yes. Hi, everyone. It's Rita. Nice mm -hmm. to have you here. Yes. Uh, we are very happy to have you, everyone, here today. Yes. So in the coming one hour show, uh, we will introduce our newest series of ERV uh, in 2020. This one, the EcoBank Pro ERV unit. And also introduce you our intelligent controller. So please stay with us. You will learn more about our product and our controllers, okay? Yes. And if you place an order during the show, yes. we offer very special prices or gifts to our customers. Mm -hmm. Do you want to know how big discount you can get mm -hmm. in the show? Let's keep it as a surprise first. Yes, it seems very attractive this time. Yes, it's very attractive. Mm -hmm. So don't go away. Yes, yeah, stay with us. If you have any questions or want to know more about our company or product, mm -hmm. please make sure you have followed us for Follow us. more information. Yes. yes. And don't forget to message our customer service if you'd like a copy of the catalog. Or you can leave a message down below, or you can send us an inquiry directly with your questions. If you enjoy our show, yes. please give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up, yes. okay? Now let's begin our show today. Firstly, we would like to introduce the EcoBank Pro ERV, this one. Yes, yes, yes one. Rita, you know, mm -hmm. this series is an updated one from our previous uh, EcoBank series ERV, right? Yes, mm -hmm. I see. I think that all products can be upgraded to a higher level yes. by adding a Pro word. Pro For example, word. yes, like the Apple smartphones. Yes. iPhone 11 Pro. Yes. So we see clearly that it's an upgrade just from its name. Yes, that's correct. Okay, yes. um, back to business. Mm -hmm. We have Ecovan Pro ERV mm -hmm. and uh, Ecovan Pro Plus ERV. Plus ERV. Yes. Okay. The Ecovan Pro series ranges from 150 to 1,300 kilometers per hour. 150 yes. to 1,300 okay. kilometers per hour. Okay. And the Ecovan Pro Plus series ranges from 150 mm -hmm. to 2,000 square meters per Okay. Hour. So uh, ERV, uh, EcoVan Pro is from 150 mm -hmm. to 1300 cubic meter per hour. Yes. And uh, the EcoVan Pro Plus ERV range from 150 yes. to 2000 cubic meter per hour, right? Yes. 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 So this series is both for residential or commercial use. Yes, and for commercial use, the smaller airflow model like 150 to uh, 600 cubic meter per hour, maybe it's enough, right? Yes, yes. And uh, well, for the commercial use, the larger airflow model would be better. Yeah, yes. Be Bes yes, besides there are uh, several updates and uh, difference. Yes. I mean, compared with the previous series, yes. right? Yes. And uh, the first improvement is the material, right, Rita? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Do you know the Do you know the difference? Yes, of mm -hmm. course. The Ecovan Pro Energy Recovery Ventilator is mm -hmm. made of zinc-free galvanized sheet. Okay, zinc-free zinc galvanized steel sheet, like this one, right? Yes, this one. Okay. It takes advantage of strong corrosion resistance mm -hmm. compared with the galvanized sheet. Okay. Yes, the traditional one is made of the galvanized sheet. Okay, this yeah. one is better. Yes, it's okay. better. It can last for more than 15 years. Okay, quite right. Mm -hmm. So it is more durable, right? Yes. It's it durable. will be uh, attractive to the customers like those who want to have a, a longer service life. Yes. Right? yes. Okay, so let's talk about the next yes. point. I mean, the structure. Yes. It is our first time to use the design of EPS one piece one design, piece right? Design. Mm -hmm. So, for this kind of material and design, the air leakage is smaller, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I know EPS is a high polymer material and uh, widely used for the uh, like the building insulation, mm -hmm. uh, refrigeration, and uh, like other industries. Yes, right? I know this material. Mm -hmm. You can see this is the EPS material. Okay. Yes. So 
it, it has the some features like a good insulation. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, no condensation. Yes. Uh, no preserve. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, heat heat preserve. Uh, oh, okay. Silent and also it's very lightweight. Great. Yeah. Yes. Correct. So you can see uh, there is no insulation outside of the unit, I mean on the body of the Yarva yes. unit. And uh, for our previous uh, series, if you are our distributors or our partners, you may know the, uh, they have the uh, insulation material on the, the yeah, body of the Yarva unit, right? Yes. Okay. For this one, the insulation is inside mm -hmm. the EcoVamp Pro Energy Recovery Ventilator. Like yeah. you can see, this is the EPS. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, so um, besides the besides this EPS, and also we can see there's uh, the insulation foam around the heat exchanger. Okay, uh, on the top of the heat exchangers, right? Yes. This part yes. and also this part has some insulation foam. Okay. So compared with the traditional uh, mm -hmm. traditional ones, mm -hmm. it has the Good, uh, better insulation. Better insulation. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I think so. So when you are considering investment on ERV system to have a proper ventilation for your project, yes. uh, maybe good insulation in the ERV unit uh, should be considered. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, by this means, this will ensure you maximize the use of natural resources. Yes. yes. Okay, don't and waste energy. Yes, don't wait uh, energy. And uh, it is also one of the most efficient way to save energy. Since it keeps it warm in winter and, and cool in the summer. summer. Yes. I can mm -hmm. agree more. Mm -hmm. Okay, CC. Mm -hmm. uh, if our customer has a limited mm -hmm. space on the ceiling, will it be suitable? You mean the installation ceiling yes. space? Yes, sure. Uh, it is suitable because uh, this one with super slim design. Super slim yes, design. super slim. Uh, for this series, the heat of the model, uh, for example, from 150 to 350 kilometer per hour, the heat is just 220 millimeters. Yes. yes. So 22 centimeters. Yes, very super very slim. slim. Yes. And for the model like 600 kilometer per hour model, uh, the heat is just 280 millimeters. Yeah, 280. It's very slim. Yes, and the heat for the model of airflow uh, like range from 800 uh, to 1300 km per hour. It's just uh, uh, not less than 400, just okay. 388 so millimeters. The, for yes. the larger airflow, the mm -hmm. height is about around like this wide. Yes, less than 400 millimeters. Yes. 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 Oh, it's really slim. Yes. As I remember for the old series, mm -hmm. the height of the smaller unit can mm -hmm. be uh, 150 to 350 km mm -hmm. per hour. Their height is around this. Two? 270. 270, yes. yes. So there's a difference of 50 millimeters. 50 millimeters difference, yes. yes. It's really great difference. Yes. Next point, uh, is there any upgrade of the filters? Uh, yes, sure. Uh, the old series, the previous series, uh, made of plastic frame and non-woven fabric. Well, this one, the new series, this is the primary filter, yes. Uh, they are made of uh, aluminum alloy frame. Yes, you can hear the voice. Yes, and uh, built in rubber uh, filtration material, I mean inside the... Yes. So uh, this updated filters uh, looks more beautiful, uh -huh. yes, and uh, the more importantly, it, it lasts longer. Lasts longer, great. Yes, by the way, this one is washable, yes, uh -huh. so it can uh, serve it for a longer time, uh -huh. okay? It's also very light, yes. lightweight. Yes. What about the filter class? Filter class. Yes. Okay, I think maybe you worry about the cleanliness, right? Uh -huh. yes. yes. For the project to require a higher cleanliness, uh, we have optional uh, PM 2.5 filters. This one. Yes. This is our PM 2.5 filter, and uh, the grid is F9. Uh, yes. F9. Yes. This one is optional uh, filters. Uh, not standard uh, equipped with the unit. So, and uh, the efficiency, I mean the filtration efficiency can be up to 99%. Wow, 99%. Almost 100%. Yes. yes. 
Yes, and the particle diameter, uh, like under 2.5 mu m, can be filtered effectively. Yes, so by this means, the indoor air quality will be increased significantly. Yes, moreover, the filter uh, inside the ERV unit will be accumulate a lot of dust, you know, yes, yes. Yeah. and get dirty after we uh, after it running for a long time. So regular cleaning or the replacement of the filter are conductive to reduce the corrosion and extend the service life of the heat exchangers. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So we suggest to change the filters every some time, change, change it or clean it every some time. Yes, yes. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So we have two options for mm -hmm. our customers for yes. filters. Uh, for primary, primary filter, filter with PM two point five and PM two point five filter. And yes. primary filter without PM two point five filter. Yes. Okay. Uh, can you also introduce the heat exchanger? Heat exchanger? As yes. I know, mm -hmm. Hong Tao masters the core technology of heat heat recovery. So mm -hmm. heat exchanger is a key part. Yes, exactly. And uh, this new series is built with our third generation Enthalpy Heat Exchange. Yes. Okay. Yes. So this uh, heat exchanger was made by our latest nanofiber structure. Yes. And uh, this kind of structure can ensure high efficiency. And uh, during the uh, air exchange, uh, only the small diameter, uh, more, uh, small diameter moisture yes. molecules can pass through it. Yes. Well, for the bigger diameter molecules, uh, like the harmful gas, yes, they can't pass, pass through it. Yes. And by the way, it also has some unique features uh, like uh, fire resistance, resistance, yes, antibacterial and mold prevent. Okay, yes. antibacterial and mold prevent is really great. Yes. How long do you think it can last? Mm -hmm. This one. Okay, I think if the ventilation system uh, runs under a good condition uh, with regular cleaning and maintenance, so it can be used for at least Five years. At least five yes, years. Uh, five years. Durable. Yes. Great. We mm -hmm. are confident with the quality of whole top product. Next point. Mm -hmm. what, what type of motor in this series is it equipped with DC motor mm -hmm. or AC motor? Well, the EcoVan Pro series we have two options. Uh -huh. Yes. Two one options. is AC motor and another one is DC motor. Uh -huh. Yes. Great. So for high end project, uh -huh. uh, we suggest to use the brushless DC model. Yes, because you know the 10 speed control yes, can be suitable for yes. most of project. the project air volume and the external pressure requirement. Okay. Yes, and uh, it has lower energy consumption. Yes, mm -hmm. and for the AC motor unit, uh, you know the price is it's more competitive. Yeah, yes, and uh, economic. So uh, we normally suggest to use for those projects, they have a limited budget. Okay, yes. so if they require the high end, they can choose the DC motor. Yes. If they have a, a, a limited budget, they can choose the AC motor. AC motor, yes. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any features of the mm -hmm. EcoVent Pro Energy Recovery Ventilator? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, inside the unit, there is a little different co uh, difference. Uh -huh. Uh, I mean, uh, in this series, for example, like uh, from 150 uh -huh. to 350 cubic meter per hour, uh, it was designed with a super body, yes, yeah, super oh, body okay. design, yes. And uh, it is especially designed for those projects. Uh, they have a very strict installation uh, heat requirement, yes. yes. And uh, compared with the traditional products, uh, this unit's heat is 20% uh, off, yes. Uh, and one more difference is the access door. Access yes, door. for yes. small units like this one is 350 cubic meter per hour model. Yes, for this small airflow model, uh, the air access door is at the bottom. This, this, yes. this is the ceiling type and here is mm -hmm. the, the bottom. Yes, here is the bottom of the unit. We turn it up. Yes. yes. So uh, the access door is a button for easy maintenance. Yes. yes. So it's much easier for daily uh, maintenance. Yes. And for other models, uh, about like the 600, 600 cubic meter per hour, hour. 
it is a little different. Mm -hmm. And uh, their access door is at the side. This one, yes, at this this side. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, there has a regular access door for maintenance of primary filter, uh, PM 2.5 filter, uh, and heat exchanger and the model. Ah, yes, they they have a special access door, so uh, it's more convenient to uh, maintain the unit. So, yes. Uh, for the smaller units like mm -hmm. this one, the the access door is at the bottom. Yes. While for the bigger units, uh, with fresh capacity of yes. uh, over six hundred six hundred to one thousand and three hundred kilometer per mm -hmm. hour, yes. the access door is at the side, side. of the unit. Yes. 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 So in order to meet the requirement of different customers and the projects, uh, we uh, developed uh, new controllers. And I think our control system uh, should be multifunctional, right? Yes. yes. So uh, you know how many controllers uh, uh, our customer can be choose currently? Yes, uh, we have both standard controllers. Standard controller? Yeah, standard and intelligent controller. You mean this one? This, this one, I think, is standard controller, yes, yes this one. this is the, the, uh, the most basic one. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also, we have two, this, this one is the newly developed, we call it Brad Poor Intelligent Controller. Yes, this is the uh, celebrity today. We will uh, focus on the introduction later, okay? Yes, uh -huh. and this, these two are the advanced intelligent controller. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they are uh, available to connect with the uh, EcoBand Pro ERV yes. unit. Yes. So you have uh, four type of you you have four options. Yes. yes. I mean oh, for the controller. Yes. yes. A lot of choice. So um, Rita, uh, can we we have talked so much about the uh, uh, ERV unit? Yes. So maybe uh, let's yes. do some. Cons uh, sum, sum, we sum up the features. Yes, yes to sum. Yes, yes, together. of the features. Yes. So first of all, is the material. material. Yes, it is uh, made of uh, zinc-free zinc galvanized. Uh, yes, steel sheet. And uh, second, second one, one is the inner structure. Yes, it is our first time to adopt the EPS uh, one, one piece, piece inner, structure. inner structure. Yes, this can make the outer look more nice, more beautiful and uh, more nicky and uh, the maintenance is more easier. Yes. yes. The third one is the installation. Yes, installation was installed inside the equi equipment. Mm -hmm. So uh, compared with the traditional one, this one is, uh, the efficiency is higher. Yes, yes. high efficiency. Mm -hmm. The fourth one is? The super slim design, yes. right? Yes, for the installation. So it can reduce the customer's uh, uh, installation space. Yeah, yes. reduce space. Mm -hmm. The fifth one is the motor. Yes, the motor, correct. Yeah. Brushless DC motor for low energy consumption and AC motor for e economic price, yeah. yes. The next one is the controller. Okay, so it's multifunctional. The final feature is that one side access door for maintenance, yeah. right? Yes. yes. Yes, it's very quick summarization. <laughs> summarization. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go to the next part, mm -hmm. introduction of the Red Cool Intelligent Controller. This yes, one. this new uh, control system, yes. Um, as mentioned previously, uh, we have uh, four controllers and including three intelligent this control system. system. Controller yes. One standard controller. Yes. And the black cool intelligent controller, the new one, mm -hmm. the advanced and the advanced intelligent controller, two type, right? Yes. Yes. And uh, the advanced intelligent controller will also has a LCD panel. Yes, this one. This is the previous intelligent controller, LCD one, and uh, touch screen intelligent one. one. Yes. And. Uh, so there are three intelligent controllers. Yes. Is there any difference? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, actually, the functions are very similar. Okay. Yes. It has the functions like uh, uh, auto bypass. bypass. Yes. External the on and off. off. Yes. Uh, auto defrosting. Auto CO2 control. Uh, humidity control. Filter alarm. Uh, night frequently. BMS compatible. Weekly timer. Yes. Lots of functions. Lots of functions. Yes. yes. 
Okay, here we got the controller samples. Mm -hmm. Let's show to the audience. Mm -hmm. One more time, right? Yes. <laughs> this, this one, uh, this one are the previous models. Uh -huh. uh, two uh, advanced intelligent controllers. Mm -hmm. This is the LCD controller, mm -hmm. and this is the touch screen one. Okay, and this one, the new one, yes, yeah, so new the black cool intelligent controller, yes, and this one, uh, the function is similar as yeah. the compare with the previous two models. Okay, and I like this red, mm -hmm. red cool one. It's, yes. Yes, it looks very cool. Like its name, name, right? Yes, yes. and uh, uh, but this one, it's uh, it looks better, right? Yeah, it looks cool and. Uh, the cost is relatively more Cheaper. competitive. Yes, yes more competitive. And okay. If I get it right, the, this black cool one has the mm -hmm. sleep mode, right? Ah, you remember the sleep mode. Yes. Yes, exactly. And this is the highlight of our black ah, cool highlight. controller. Yes, it supports the sleep mode. Yes. So, which means uh, when we are sleeping, we can set the sleep mode. Yeah. Uh, then the airflow is more gentle and with a very quiet noise. Okay. Yes. I like this function. <laughs> you like sleeping? Yes. So okay. Sleeping is always very, very yes, exactly. important for all of us. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. I, I agree with you. So that's why we develop these functions in the new controller. Yes. And uh, the two advanced controllers don't have these functions. Yes. Okay. What about the Wi-Fi function? Wi-Fi function, yes. yes. I think a lot of our clients mm -hmm. have this function. And as I know, our R&D department has mm -hmm. been focusing on this requirement, mm -hmm. this, this function, for quite some time, I know. Yes, uh, since last year, 2019, our yes. reach and development uh, department uh, have been uh, working on develop the Wi-Fi functions. Yes. yes, and now it's all paid off. It's available now, yeah. and uh, we have developed a Wi-Fi modular, so it can match our advanced intelligent controller. Uh, these yeah, two? both of these two. Yes. Yes. Uh, so in Wi-Fi aspects, mm -hmm. uh, these two in advanced intelligent controller mm -hmm. can support Wi-Fi. Yes. Why the Brad Cool controller mm -hmm. does not support? Yes. Yes. Exactly. By the way, you know what does Wi-Fi functions uh, means? Exactly. Yes, as far as I know, uh -huh. it means that uh, if the ERV is linked to the Wi Fi, mm -hmm. then we can control the ERV with app on the phone. Mm -hmm. so app? I like this function too. Because, uh -huh. um, Why? you know, I always go out, out of home mm -hmm. and forget to turn yeah. off the ERV. Uh -huh. in, in, in this case, I can easily handle it on the phone. Yes, it's designed for you. Yeah, exactly. It's designed, designed for you, yes. Okay, so the main difference for mm -hmm. these controllers mm -hmm. lies in the uh, sleep mode and mm -hmm. the Wi-Fi control function. Yes. The red cooler controller has it has sleep, sleep mode. mode yes. While the advanced controller does not support. Mm -hmm. The advanced controller <laughs> can support Wi-Fi control, while the red cooler controller does not have Wi-Fi function. Yes. Yes. You are right. So uh, our customer have lot of uh, options. Let me make it uh, clearly. Short, yes, yeah. if you prefer a uh, Wi-Fi model modular, I mean Wi-Fi function, this, choose this both of these one will be better for you. Yeah. Well, if you prefer a uh, more beautiful and more fashionable design and with a uh, sleeping mode, oh, yeah. this one will choose be better. Yes, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I, as I know, these mm -hmm. intelligent controllers are mm -hmm. special designed according to the opinions of our yes. Europe clients. Mm -hmm. You know, our our these two mm -hmm. advanced intelligent controllers, mm -hmm. they always enjoy very good commands from our clients in yes. the last few years. Yes, that's it. That's why our ERV unit uh, uh, sells very so hot yes. on the market, especially in Europe. So, because it could meet most of our customers' demand, yes. yes. And uh, I am sure the new one, the black cool controller, uh, will be enjoying a very good comments too. Yes. 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 Okay. Now we have prepared an ERV unit and a black cool control intelligent controller. Mm -hmm. Next part, let's introduce the main functions and operations. Yes. Operations. 
Yes, next part. Let's introduce the main functions. And okay, see let's how introduce it runs, the functions okay? one by one. The first function is on and off button. Well, this button is at the left button side. Okay, here's the on and off button. Yes, it is used to turn on. Turn on, now I turn it on. Yes, or turn off the equipment. Press it again and it's yes. off now. And when it is turned on, the backlight of the display screen will be on. Yes, yeah, like this. and it will be off if there is no operation within 30 seconds. Mm -hmm, okay. And when the backlight is off under the power on state, press any button and it will be on again. And press the on and off button for more than 6 seconds to, six seconds. Yes, to lock the screen. Okay, yes. now I press it for 6 seconds and it's not. We see an, a, a lock icon here. Yes, and press it again for more than 6 seconds to unlock it. Well, do not operate under the lock state. Okay, now it's unlocked now. Yes, and when the equipment is off, the display screen will go out. Okay, CC, I see it writes RA here yes. on the screen. What to do if I want to see the OA value? Well, here we will introduce you how to switch the mode. Firstly, let's press mode button. Okay, yes. press the mode button here. Yes, to display, uh, to uh, switch to display the detected items. The default interface is starting up. Well, we can say it's OA at the beginning. And we press, uh, pressing lightly the mode button again. The users can choose or switch to the state of other detected items. The sequence is RA. RA. Oh, yes. Just, just now it shows RA. Yes. And I press it and it okay. shows OA here. Yes, and OA yeah. and then FR. FR means EA. FR here. Yes, and then SA. SA. And then setting. Yes. Setting. Here's the setting. Setting temperatures. Yes. yes. Setting the temperature for uh, supply air. But this on this function just available when the unit connected with the electric heater. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. I see. And then once again, the CO2 sensor. CO2 sensor. Yes. One more time. Humidity, Humidity sensor. Humidity. Yes. And then timer on and off mode. Here. Here's the timer setting mode. Yes. And then the sleep mode. Sleep now mode. it's a sleep mode. Yeah, I yes. see here it shows a moon and star icon. Yes. So we come to the sleeping mode. Yes. Well, okay. these uh, settings we will be switched in a uh, cycle. Ah, okay. Yes, I see. Okay, okay, thank you. So next part, let's come to the setting time uh, function. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, first, let's come to the uh, let's press the mode button to switch to the time setting phase timer setting phase here's the timer setting interface and i press long press set button Here we see the hour flashes, and we press the up and back down, uh, up and down button to set the actual time. Now, yes. for example, now it's uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, three p.m. So we press the up button. It's fifteen, yes. and press the set so it comes to the mini setting. Uh, Example. Now it's zero. Okay. Press set again to confirm the setting. And here we come to the week setting. Now it's Wednesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Okay. Press set again to confirm. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe mode. <laughs> Sorry. Mode. Okay, now we finish the time setting. Okay, it is very easy to handle. Our black cool controller supports weekly uh, time setting, right? Yes. Can you show us how to set it? Yes, sure. Uh, you know, 
if we want to when the fan run at a certain speed in a certain time then we can use our weekly timer function mm -hmm. our system supports four periods one day seven days per week mm -hmm. so under every period user can set a fan speak then the ventilator enter the very time period it will automatically change to the fan speak according to setting okay so now, now here shows the Timer setting. Yes, it's oh, now okay. it's in the time setting interface. We can show uh, now short press the set button. Mm -hmm. Here we can see one, two, three. This shows four periods, one day. Okay. Now it shows uh, the setting is for Monday. And if we if we press the up button, it will change to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like okay. this. And Press set again. Now it's changed to uh, our hour setting. Six, seven, eight p a.m. Right? Yes, a.m. Mm -hmm. And press set to change to the minute setting. Okay, so these setting are for uh, the ERV running time mm -hmm. setting, right? Yes. If yes. If we set it with a uh, uh, nine o'clock at the morning then mm -hmm. the units will be uh, turned on automatically at the nine o'clock yes. at uh, Tuesday or uh, Thursday right okay uh, at Thursday yes. okay got it thank you thanks for the clear show Rita okay uh, next part uh, I would like to show the fan speed setting uh, we can set the fan speed in menu mode and uh, automatic mode uh, for example, the fan speed setting uh, with the menu mode under the supply air or exhaust air temperature interface. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's press mode again. Yes, under supply, supply, supply air. Here? Yes. yes. And press the arrow key of up and down. Up and down. Oh, here. Down, yes. Okay. So um, the speed of exhaust air or the supply air uh, can be set it in the same way. For example, I mean the uh, FR. FR. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's similar, FR, right? Yeah, yes. yes. Now we come to the exhaust mm -hmm. air setting interface. Yes, normally there are three speeds for the uh, air uh, AC controller. I mean mm -hmm. the units equipped with the AC model. Yes. Well, for the DC controller, uh, there are 10 speeds available. Yes, mm -hmm. like this unit, it has maximum 10 speed. Yes. Yes, it's with DC controller. Mm -hmm. CC, uh, I think some clients may want a negative or positive air pressure. How to set it? Well, if we set the supply fan at low speed and set the exhaust fan at high speed, there will be a slight negative air pressure in the room, right? Yes. And on the contrary, if we set the supply fan at high speed and set the exhaust fan at low speed, so there will be a slight positive air pressure in the room. Ah, I see, see, see. So, um if we set the different air speed for the uh, supply air and exhaust air, yes. then it will come with the uh, negative or positive pressure. Yes, yes, sure. CC, uh, uh, is there a function which can remind clients to change the filters? Yes, sure. We have filter alarm function for the ERB unit. So we can set how long we expect to use the filters. So when running time of ventilator is over the setting filter alarm time, the filter alarm symbol will be flashes on the panel at the uh, left left side. This this period, yes, this arrow, and uh, um, then uh, when running time of ventilator is over the setting filter alarm time, the symbol will flashes and remind our end user to clean or replace the air filters. Yes, it's very uh, smart. Can you show how to set a CC? Yes, sure. Before showing this, I think I prefer to show you what's our parameter and how to set it, okay? Yes. Well, the parameter means the code for setting different functions. It is in the right middle part of our control panel. 
and the parameter value to decide how to control the ventilator. Yes, it shows at the right up part. Like yes. Rita uh, setting long press the mode button for more than six seconds, right? Yes, on the screen you can see in the right middle mm -hmm. part of our control panel, it writes one. Yes, number one. Yeah, this this this, this means the sorry the setting the of power to auto restart, right? Yes. This this is the parameter number. It writes one. This one means the the function to auto power to auto restart. Yes, and this button. at the right button one. This this is the parameter value. Now it writes one. Mm -hmm. It means that uh, under this setting period, uh, parameter one and parameter value one. It means that the power to auto restart function is active. Okay, so this is very sweet design. So power to auto restart means when the electricity is cut off suddenly, the ERV will stop working. Mm -hmm. And after the power is back on, the ERV will restart automatically and run at the previous modes. So, right? Yes. This so function this function can avoid wasting the time on resetting the ERV. Yes, it's really s sweet design. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rita, we would like to go further with the filter alarm setting. Uh, you know, we have a parameter 18, right? Yes. yes. Let's okay. go into Let's the... Let's go to the parameter 18 first. Press the long, mode button. Long press the mode button. Okay. Yes, now we see the parameter 1. And we press set to 2, 3, and until parameter 18. Slowly. Okay. okay, 18. So we have four uh, parameter value available, right? Yes. For example, the 45. Now it's 45. Yes. And we press up and down. Up is 16. 60, 60 days. 60, 60 days, days, right? Yes. Okay. And next, 90, 90 days. days. and 180 days. Yes. So okay. there are four, four choices. And then if I want to set the filter alarm every 19 days, so I will need to set parameter 18 with the value uh, 19 days, yes. right? It's very yes. easy. Like 19, yeah. Okay. So uh, under this setting, after the ventilator runs over 90 days, the filter alarm system will remind us or our customers to change the filters, right? Yeah, yes. Yes. Then after filters being cleaned or replaced, we need to sweep the filter alarm by setting parameter number seven, right? I remember. Yes. Set it. <laughs> One more time. Long yes. press the mode button for six seconds. Yes, let's find the and set and press short press the set button to come to parameter seven, 17. seventeen. Okay, seventeen now. Okay, find and the value one. Yes, we need to change it to value one. Press the up button. Okay, yes, now then the time will be recount, right? Yes, yes. Okay, I'm clear now. It's very sweet design. You know, I always forget the time, so it's great if the ventilator could remind me of something. Next part, let's introduce the, the bypass function. Okay. Cici, do you know what's bypass function? Yes, sure. Sometimes when the outdoor air is more comfortable than the indoor air, we need to get the fresh air quickly without heat exchange. Then the bypass function is very useful at this moment. Ah, okay, yes. I see. And for this purpose, our intelligent controller has prepared the auto bypass function. So when the outdoor air is within setting value, the bypass mm -hmm. damper will open automatically and then fresh air will enter directly. And um, I see, I think when the bypass is on, the triangle bypass symbol on the screen will appear. And yes, when at this period, this, uh, this arrow, sorry. Ah, when bypass is off, the symbols disappears. Yes. Compared with the standard controller, the bypass on and off for intelligent controller is automatically by the setting. Yes. We can set it on the con controller, and when the temperature reach the setting, mm -hmm. and the bypass will automatically open. Yes, yes, for sure. We have more functions, right? Yes. 
and uh, uh, here uh, all of our controllers are with Modbus protocol. Ah, Modbus. Yes, I mean the RS four A five connector is available for the building management system control. It is very useful for the project. Yes, I agree. For projects, it's always convenient to control all the ERVs by uh, all together. Yes, and in order to improve the indoor air quality, the CO two must be controlled. Our advanced intelligent controller is good at CO two control. But do we have the CO two control functions for this uh, black cool uh, controller? Yes, of course. Now let's introduce the CO two control function. Okay. For projects, it's convenient to control all the ERVs together. Cici, in order to improve the indoor air quality, the CO two value must be controlled.、Mm -hmm. Our advanced intelligent controller is good at CO two control. Do we have the CO two control function for this black cool intelligent controller? Yes. So、uh, let's introduce the CO two control functions. Okay.、Uh, could you please take a here's、sensor? the our. CO two sensor. Yes, this is the sensors for this、uh, interlock with the black cool controller. Yes. Yes, the color is black too. The CO two symbol appear、uh, when the CO two sensor is connected. I think we already show at the beginning of、yes. the video, right? Yes. And、uh, press the mode button for six seconds. Yeah, like entering the setting, find the code eleven, and it is for the setting of CO two value. So if we set it at eighty.、Uh, It, it means eight hundred ppm, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Then, if indoor CO two value is higher than eight hundred ppm ppm, the ERV will run at highest speed.、Mm -hmm. When the CO two con concentration is lower than eight hundred ppm, the ERV will get back to the previous、uh, speed. Will get back to the previous mode and run at previous、mm -hmm. speed. This will help us to monitor the indoor air quality and reduce the CO two as soon as possible. Yes. Let's introduce about the humidity co、uh, control function. Yes, sure. Uh, actually, uh, I think it's the same logic for the humidity control.、Uh, please, could you take a humidity sensor? Yes. Yes. Here's our humidity sensor. Yes, this is the humidity sensor. Yes, it's same for our advanced intelligent controller and this black cool、mm -hmm. controller. Yes, the humidity symbol will appear、uh, on the panel when this、uh, sensor is connected.、Uh, so the ERV units will run at highest speed when the humidity、uh, concentration is higher than the setting value. Okay. Yes, under the humidity control mode,、uh, our our end users can set the humidity concentration by pressing up the、uh, by pressing just the up and down button, and the setting ranges from fifty percent to hundred percent. Ah, fifty、mm -hmm. to one hundred. Yes. Okay. Okay. Welcome back. One more question for you, Cici. Yes. If our customer live in the very cold、mm -hmm. area, very we, cold area. Yes. Will it affect the use?、Uh, actually, I think this is not a problem. Okay. Yes. Ah,、uh, we have auto defrosting functions. Auto、And、defrosting function. Yes. yes. So it means when the ventilator is under defrosting,、mm -hmm. the defrosting symbol a symbol will show on the uh screen touch screen uh control panel. Yes. Yes. Ah,、uh, the logic is. When the EA side, the exhaust air side of the heat exchanger temperature is lower than minus one Celsius degree,、okay. yes, I mean the defrosting entering temperature,、mm -hmm. and it lasts for one minute, and the interval of defrosting is longer than thirty minutes, the supply fan、mm -hmm. will stop work,、yes. okay, and the exhaust fan will run at a high speed, highest、okay. speed. Yes, boost、um, speed. Yeah, boost the speed. Yes. Yes, and until the exhaust air side temperature higher than the defrosting entry temperature, fifteen、uh, uh, Celsius degree,、mm -hmm. and、uh, for one minute, or the defrosting time will longer than ten minutes. Okay. Yes. And、uh, there are several voltage-free connectors on the PCB、mm -hmm. board,、yes. which is very useful for the project. Voltage-free connect connectors. Yes. Yes. This. These ones are the voltage-free connectors.、Mm -hmm. Yes. So、uh, it is also called 
boost contacts? Uh, first, uh, let, let's introduce them one, one by, by one. one right? First okay. is the external switch external connector. Switch. Yes, okay. this, this one, this, this one. two. This two, it can receive voltage-free signals to mm -hmm. control the, uh, the ventilator on or off. Or on and off. Contact. Yes, it's okay. also called fan boost contact okay. <laughs> si signal input. Okay. So when this switch is closed, closed. So uh, mm -hmm. whatever the ERV is at standby conditions mm -hmm. or run at any fan speed, okay. if you run at highest speed, high which, the speed. yes, we, mm -hmm. we also call it boost speed. Boost the speed. Okay. And uh, for example, it will be interlocked with the light or uh, with the light of fast room or the washroom. You mean and the light in the uh, bathroom or washroom, right? Yes. Okay. When we turn on the light, turn on the light. Yeah, the ERV will run at boost speed. Okay. And when we turn off the light, the ERV mm -hmm. will get back to the previous working mode. Okay, yeah. sounds great. And uh, the second one is the bypass switch. Bypass. Mm -hmm. This 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 one. Yes. This two. Uh huh. The, so when the ERV receive a signal. Yes. Yes. Uh, the bypass valve. I mean the bypass damper built inside the unit will yes. open, and the ERV will run without heat recovery. Yes. Right. And when a fire occurs. Uh, happened. Uh, is there a function can stop the ERV uh, as soon as possible? Yes, mm -hmm. the, we have fire alarm signal out input. Okay. We also call it fire shutdown. Fire shutdown. Yeah, if this connector is closed, mm -hmm. the ERV will start running. And okay. if, we, if we connect to a device such as a fire alarm, fire alarm. yes, or okay. smoke detector, mm -hmm. so when a fire occurs, the ERV will stop working soon after receiving the signal. Okay. Yeah. If we have a project use the uh, MOBUS, the BMS, BMS. yeah, okay. to control several ERVs, if one of them have mm -hmm. a fault, uh, I think it will be a problem to check them one by yes. one. And exactly. uh, is there any method to help check this mm -hmm. quickly? Yes, I think you mean the fault signal output yes. uh, connector. Fault so signal this one, output. Yes, the fault signal output connector will be helpful under this kind of circumstances. Yes. yes. So if you use the device, for example, the indicator light, mm -hmm. yes, to connect with the fault signal output uh, yes. connector. So the logic is when the indicator light received fault signal from mm. the ERV unit, yes. it will be turned on, right? Yes. And uh, then you will know this ERV, which ERV has a fault. Yes. 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 And uh, could you please introduce the next? Uh, this this final one yes. is the running signal output. Running signal output. Yes, okay. you know some of our customers mm -hmm. use the running signal output connectors yes. to connect with the air valve. Air valve. Yes. Okay. So uh, when ERV on, the, the valve air valve will, will open. open. Okay. Yeah. When ERV off, the air valve will will be closed. Okay. Good. Okay, that's all the introduction for our red crew inter intelligent controllers. Yes. I hope uh, all of our old and new clients are clear about the functions yes. and operations now. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do a, a detailed introduction about the ERV unit yes. and the controllers today. So um, this new controller is really a great backup for our advanced yes. controller. So thank you, Rita. Very detailed introduction today. Yeah, yes. Thank you too. <laughs> so that's all of our uh, live show today. and. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you are still watching our show, we appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, if you have any questions or want to know more about Hardtop and our products, uh, please make sure you already follow us. Yes, yes. please follow us if yes. you have not mm -hmm. followed. And don't forget to message our customer service if you like a copy of catalog. Mm -hmm. Or you can leave a message down below. Uh, can send that inquiry directly. Uh, if you enjoy our live show today, please, please show us a, a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yeah, a thumbs yes. up. Yes. And yes. finally, to thank all of you to stay, stay with, with us. us for one hour. Yes. We are ready to offer some discounts. If we are ready. We are ready. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> yes. If any orders place for our EcoVent Pro ERV by September, within September. Yes. Yes. This we will month. offer maximum five percent discount. Five discount. Yes. Yes. Based on the previous favorable price. Yes. If you prefer the advanced intelligent controller, yes. we can update it to the Wi-Fi compatible one mm -hmm. without additional charges. Yes. We will update. 
the PCB board for you with Wi-Fi compatible one without yeah. charge of the yes, code, and it, right? it also has the Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi modular. Yes, Wi-Fi modular is an optional uh, accessory, uh, right? Yes, yes. Normally, we need to charge it, but yes. uh, if we will you order you order by price. September, we can offer for you free of charge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's very attractive. Yes. Uh, please don't miss it. Don't okay? miss it. So thanks again for watching our live show today. We will see you next time, okay? Yes, see, see you. Bye-bye.